In today's video, we try to survive 100 days in hardcore Minecraft while the world is overrun by prehistoric animals like your mom. I mean dinosaurs, yep, I meant to say dinosaurs. There's a lot of different kinds of dinosaurs, and some of them are friendly like these guys right here, and some of them are not very friendly, like this huge T-Rex over here. And all we have to do is survive in a world full of them for 100 days. Sounds easy, right? Well, yes it's. In day 1, I spawned in a savanna biome next to a bunch of rhinos, and I quickly got away from there. I did mine some stone and wood, made some tools, and decided to exploring. And while I was exploring, something invisible hit me. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Why just attack me? What? What just attacked me? I really don't know what it was that hit me, but I guess it was Casper the Ghost just doing a little bit of trolling. After running around for a little bit, I found a hill that had some animals including some sheep, which I was gonna need to survive. The problem was that there was a couple dinosaurs around in the area. I spent some time contemplating what I was gonna do next, and after some time thinking, I worked up the courage to bridge over to the hill, and I found out that the dinosaurs were just passing by the which is a relief. I then put the animals to sleep with my axe, and I gathered enough materials to make a bed and cook some food. In the distance, I found a massive house that I set aside for the next day to explore, and I went to bed. On day 2, I cooked a lot of food that I got in the prior day from the animals that I put to sleep, and then I set out to explore the house, which I quickly discovered was a village. Inside the house, I found a lot of good things like an iron chest plate, iron leggings, potatoes, a bow and arrow, bow and arrows, and uh, much more. And I also found the house to be really snazzy, and I decided to live in it from then on out. There really wasn't much else of interest outside the house, it was mostly just a regular village. I also noticed this guy island, which, uh, now looking back, I have some strong feelings about it that I'm sure you will come to see why real soon. I spent the rest of the day in a forest just uh, putting animals to sleep, and uh, I eventually got lost and it turned nighttime. And I honestly, I don't think I would have found my way back if, if I didn't write down the coordinates. Back at the house, which you will soon find out is a common trend, you know, me getting lost constantly. <laughs> I ended up finding my way back to the house, and I went to sleep, putting an end to the day. On day 3, I started out to go exploring again, and I came across a lot of huge dinosaurs in the way, which I tried it my best to avoid. <laughs> it's huge! Jesus. These guys are humongous. I saw a big dinosaur fossil, which I collected because I, I planned to uh, make a potato farm, and you could uh, make bone meal with the bone blocks. I also came across a desert temple, which had a golden apple, two china books, and a saddle, which is okay. Okay, just break this, and there you go. We're good. Oof, golden apple, emeralds, gunpowder, take a string, sand as well, I guess. Advanced protection, that's great. Subjects, science, one. Or saddle. Nice. A saddle? Okay, that's good. Gunpowder, string. Okay, not bad. Not bad at all. I like how we got the golden apple. Could save us at some point. Oh, to the temple, there was these blocks that I'd never seen before, and so I decided to step on them, as you naturally would. What is this, by the way? Oh no 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 That is not good. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. What am I doing? Oh no, okay. That is not good. Freaking quicksand. Yeah, those blocks turn out to be quicksand and I don't think I was in any real danger, but I, I sure felt like I was at the time. I then decided to go home as it was getting dark, and along the way I, I came across another man that I want to go with the boat, and well, uh, I'll just show you what happened. In the boat. And it's creeper. Great man, great, 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 great. Nice, oh, in the boat, nice. <laughs> oh, what? He's so explodes! Oh no. Okay. Sure, it was a good thing that boat didn't break because I might have died from Denderman, honestly. After that, I made a bed and I went to bed. On day four, I found this uh, temple, like right next to my house. I, I didn't see it before somehow, and I decided to go inside. And there honestly wasn't 
anything in there except for spiders. And I almost died. Yeah, that was, that was bad. Come here. Is it me again? They have such long reach. Okay. I might want to cover this up. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Alright. You know, I think I'm just gonna get out of here for now. With that being said, I didn't explore the whole thing, so it's possible that I missed a lot, but I didn't want to stay in there, so I left before, you know, exploring the whole thing. I then made it back to the house, and I had the idea of making a potato farm, and I got everything ready, like a whole the potatoes, the bone meal from the fossils. But I kind of forgot that you, you kind of need water to make a farm, and so it, that, that was kind of a waste of time, but I did make a shuriken farm. I then saw the Sky Island again, and I thought, why not go up there and see what I can find? And so I built up there using a lot of the dirt and sand that I dug up trying to make the farm. And, um, uh, yeah, this happened. What is this, man? Okay. Oh, it's a chest. I don't feel safe making that jump. Okay. I'm not sure for TNT. I don't think there's any. Is that glowstone? Yeah, glowstone dust. Okay, this thing isn't connected to anything, so safe. What? What? Ain't this a toy? What? <laughs> this has to be a fucking joke. Wow. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> I did all that for that. For a fucking book. With nothing. Feeling pretty frustrated, I then got away from the island, was in style, using a boat, and I quickly got attacked when I landed. Alright, let's go at home. That was so totally fucking disappointing. Oh no. Okay. Okay, that's bad. They shoot really fast. Oh my god. Dude. Dude, okay. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Bro, not like this. Holy shit. Oh my god. Yeah, that was a huge close call. I honestly don't know how I survived that. And it, it, the fact that it lagged whenever I tried to attack the spider and eat was just like really unlucky. But yeah, I survived that and I went, made it back home and went to bed. Put an end to the day. At least that's what I wanted to do, but uh. The problem was that there was a monster nearby, which prevented me from sleeping. So I had to play uh, Where's Waldo, trying to find the mob <laughs> that uh, was near my house. And eventually I gave up and I just slept outside the house. Finally, put an end to the day. After the craziness that was day 4, I realized that I was going to need to get more stacks. So I spent day 5 mostly just mining, and I, I made a full iron armor, a shield, a couple iron pickaxes, and I started a strip mine. Well, started the staircase to start a strip mine, and yeah, I went to bed. On day 6, I went by mining, and while I was mining, I came across a spawner, and well, this happened. Oh my god, okay. I really don't like skate sweaters. That lag though. Okay. Let's use my phone, let's use my phone. Okay. Take care of that. There's zombies now. That wasn't too bad. Alright. Oh, and you got a witch too. Okay. Trying to slow me, I think. Whatever that is. There you go. 
I didn't break this ice block, and I didn't release it at that exact moment, but uh, it was a nice weapon, and later on, I also end up finding some diamonds. Ooh, diamonds. That's cool. Oh, it's just one? That's fine. We'll find like 500 more. Probably. A couple minutes later, I come across another spawner that I try to break again, and it explodes again. Oh, oh no 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 I think I'm backing myself up to a corner. That's not good. Oh my god. And I once again came really close to dying again. <laughs> uh, this is a pattern that you probably keep seeing throughout this video. And yeah, I'm, I'm surprised that I survived as long as I did. Right here, I really said I don't have any more food, and while I was looking through my inventory, I found out I found the weapon that I was talking about earlier. Wasting this damage? What? <laughs> this thing does damage. Okay. <laughs> cool. <laughs> and I enjoyed the weapon for a solid one minute. Because it breaks in three hits. <laughs> what? Oh, it breaks really easily. Oh, okay. Oh no! Our ice weapon. It's broken! I think I lost as I usually do, and I had to dig my way out until I found the surface, and then I went back home and ate the day. On day seven, I just wanted to relax after almost dying the prior day, so I decided to make a potato farm, and then I discovered that you could do this. Now I'm use the bone meal. Oh, that's so cool! <laughs> I don't know what mod does this, but this is really useful. Just infinite potatoes. It's honestly really helpful, and it's something that Mojek should really consider adding to the game. And I want you to comment down below how many times you think I, I'm gonna use the potato farm to this day. After I finished the farm and I harvested a little bit, I went to bed right outside the house. On day, I was determined to find some more diamonds, and I did exactly just diamonds. that. Wait. Yeah, diamonds. Nice. What, just hit me? Oh, <laughs> okay. Okay. And it's more than one this time. That's amazing. Six, that's pretty good, it has seven now. And right here to find two more. It's just two this time. It's fine. I might do a little bit more, but I couldn't find anything else, so I just went back home and went to bed. On day nine, I go back mining again, and I find an Enderman on the way. Oh, Enderman over here. Hello, Enderman. How you doing, bud? So I have my blood on me. Me, bud. In the boat, man. Yeah. Okay, bye. Bye, in the boat. Thanks for the pearl. I then made a diamond pickaxe and I mined six obsidian because I wanted to make an enchantment table. A bit later on, I come across Summer Enderman and I kill them both, with both of them dropping down the pearls, putting me at a total of four. Here in the middle. Here in the middle. Come here, bud. Go in the boat. Nice. I then found two more diamonds, and I accidentally used an in the pro looking idiot. What 
the hell? I just used another pro. Wow. Okay. Let's put that away. <laughs> Bruh. After that, I went back home and I cried myself to sleep. On day 10, I made an enchantment table using the obsidian that I mined the prior day, and I also used the stupid book I got from the sky island as the book needed. I placed on the enchantment table on the second floor, and then I realized I was gonna need more wood, so I went to chop some trees down to make the rest of the bookshelves. I gathered enough wood to complete the room, and then called it a day and went to bed. Day 11 and 12 were basically just swim, and uh, I know I've been a lot of these past couple days, so after this day, you won't see me for a very long time, I promise. Anyways, while I was mining, I ended up getting 20 diamonds, and then I came back home and enchanted some uh, some of the new gear that I made, which includes a diamond chest plate, diamond helmet, diamond boots, diamond axe, diamond pickaxe, and I also made a diamond strengthen bowl, which had a useless enchantment. I, I, I don't know what it does, it, it's, it, apparently it was a rune called arrow piercing, but yeah, never figured out what it does. Anyways, that's the video, and if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and part 2 will be coming out soon.